Hi, my name is Marika Van Andel. I'm a field biologist with Syngenta Canada, and we're here today at the Honeywood Research Farm in Plattsville, Ontario. We want to spend a few minutes talking about the soybean cyst nematode, as it's one of the number one yield robbers for soybean production in North America. The soybean cyst nematode was first introduced or found in the U.S. in the 1950s, and it spread up into Ontario in about 1988. Since then, it's been moving north, and we're seeing a lot of soybean cyst nematode up along Lake Huron and in other parts of Ontario as well. Even into eastern Ontario and into Quebec, we're starting to find soybean cyst nematode. Syngenta has been sampling fields here in Ontario for the soybean cyst nematode because we know that it's a big yield robber for, for growers in Ontario. The soybean cyst nematode can cause a lot of damage on the soybean roots. You can have up to 30% yield loss without even knowing that you have soybean cyst nematodes in your field. So what's causing that yield loss? So there's both direct and indirect effects of the nematode. So directly that nematode is infecting that root system and degrading that root system, reducing the plant's ability to take up water and nutrients. And you'll especially see that then in, in, uh, in stressful conditions. So the indirect effects is when you have all those entry points from that nematode on the root system, you're gonna get wounds which other pathogens can enter in. So diseases like Fusarium, Pythium, Rhizoctonia can enter those, those wounds. We especially see that with Fusarium virguliforme, which causes sudden death syndrome in soybeans, which can also be a very devastating disease in soybeans. Mm -hmm.